Now we need to look at a special situation involving the law of sines in which you're given two sides and then an angle that's not in between the two sides, the SSA case. It's called the ambiguous case because it's uh, unclear what can happen at the beginning. Right? There's a few things that could happen. This given information this way means that a few things could possibly happen, so it's ambiguous at the beginning. You could have zero triangles, you could have one triangle, or you could have two triangles that could exist given this information. So we're going to look here at uh, what would happen if no triangles were possible. So let's say that you're told, you know, in the problem, angle A is 30 degrees, side A, let's say you're told is 2, and uh, side C is 8. And so I have here, like, the beginnings of a triangle. It's not completed. If I put angle A here and put uh, angle B here, now I know angle A is 30 degrees. Put that there. Notice that that forces this to be side C because angle C would have to be somewhere on this horizontal line here. So the side opposite it would be this side here. So that's 8. And if side A is 2, that means that the side I'm going to have to draw from angle B to side C, to angle C. So again, like angle C is supposed to be here somewhere, but we don't know where on the line it should be. But uh, that means side A I have to draw from B down to C. Now it doesn't take a it doesn't take a leap of imagination to to see that it is completely possible that this side the information you're given for instance we're given that uh, a is two might be too short to make it so like let's say two only got you there well then no triangles would be possible right like if that's two it just didn't reach then you're not going to be able to form a triangle so if this was the information you were given you wouldn't have been able to draw a triangle. I mean, no triangle would, be, would have existed, and you can't solve for it. Okay, so visually, this is what, what happens. I mean, you're given uh, a scenario, and, and you just, no matter what you do, you couldn't, uh, the, the side is too short, that two is too short. Um, you won't always have a diagram in front of you, so I want to show you what happens in the algebra that helps you identify that no triangle is possible. So let's say you, you're given this situation, and all you're looking at is that. You notice I have all the information for uh, A, so I'm going to use the law of sines. So you say, okay, well, that means it's sine of 30 divided by 2 is equal to sine of angle C divided by 8. You to cross multiply to start solving. Okay, and so watch what happens when you get towards towards an answer. So this this means that uh, sine of c equals and uh, eight times sine of thirty divided by two. If we put that in the calculator, gives us two. Now, if you don't realize it at this step, you will in the next step when you're trying to solve for angle a. But you might notice at this step that this equation has no solution because the sine of an angle can never be greater than 2. So, you're not going to be solving for angle C. And if you took it the next step, you would have found that C equals sine inverse of 2 has no solution. Right? That does not exist. So, it's there in the algebra that you recognize, oh, zero triangles are possible here. Okay, this triangle cannot exist. Given this information, this triangle cannot exist. So in another video, we'll look at uh, the other possibilities.